Out of my way, Jack. Even without Goofy, you still got somebody really tall staring at you all the time. Mm-hmm. At least this guy's so tall he can't breathe directly on Sora. Also, no lungs. Where would they fit in That's there? That's true. Where would you put them? <laughs> That's true. Goofy, you can stay here. Jack's gonna come along with us from now on. <laughs> It's really the best thing for everybody. Like, yeah, society will be safer without Jack Skellington ruining everything <laughs> whenever he gets bored. Yeah. And I'm sure Goofy has some great ideas for Halloween. I'm sure. I mean, he put together that costume himself. He has yeah, fantastic yeah. ideas for Halloween. Come <laughs> on. The one thing that I, I do miss. And it's the thing I miss in all the worlds, but in this one you really feel it, uh, mm -hmm. is... Where's everybody else? Like, yeah. where's all the other fun little dudes yep. in, in Halloween Town? That's pretty much always a problem in the Kingdom Hearts series, except for some instances in Kingdom Hearts 3. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, there, there's a meme from uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 in which you go to a world and early on someone mentions the bustling streets of the city they're in and the camera pans over the, the area you're in and there's zero NPCs. <laughs> Just nothing. It, it does make me wonder how Kingdom Hearts 4 will fare, since that's in development now and will be on, you mm -hmm. know, a, a PS5 exclusive or whatever, so... They, they can do it now for sure. Like, it's understandable, maybe, to not have a bunch of characters loaded in mm -hmm. on the PS2 of all things, but... Right. But, like, when you're watching Nightmare Before Christmas, yeah. which is a very rewatchable movie, uh, every time I, I just focus on a different little freak in the mm -hmm. background and follow like this year my little freak is uh, the, the tiny mummy guy. Okay. Yeah. This year my little freak is the sad clown who loves his wife so very much. <laughs> uh, so I saw this movie in theaters as a kid mm -hmm. uh, and I remember really enjoying it but I was terrified of the intro. Uh, mm. There's that little bit where um it's like the, the little assembly line or whatever, where they're like painting the ducks or whatever, yeah. like with blood. That freaked me out a little bit. And there's also a shot of um, the camera goes down to like a basement and you see glowing red eyes underneath the stairs or whatever. Mm -hmm. Nightmare for me. I had nightmares <laughs> about that for like a month afterwards. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because I have my two other party members are both magic users. Yeah, just nonstop effects on screen for the most part yeah. until they get tired and run out of MP for a bit. <laughs> I mean, since we've been doing this this uh, uh, game, since we've been recording this commentary, I just can't mm. stop thinking of movies that I know would never get a Kingdom Hearts world, but I wish they would. Mm. Yeah, like what? Uh, bed knobs and broomsticks occurred to me today because mm. I think there would be a fun mechanic where you can at will switch between uh, the like the live action scenes and the animated scenes. Oh man, yeah, that would be so much fun. That that would, it would be, be really the cute. only good thing about bed knobs and broomsticks. I don't like that movie either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so long. Why is it so long? Mm. It's not as long as Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, at least, but it's so oh, long. Oh boy, yeah. Whoop! Whoop. <laughs> In you go. Uh -oh. Hey, it's the hill. It's the it's, hill. It's, 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 it's the, the iconic hill. hill. Can you go up the hill? Maybe Will it unravel. Maybe. <gasps> oh. What kind of geology? What, what tectonic activity creates this hill? <laughs> Uh, we've also got a little platform here. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a couple of these throughout this world where they got little lanterns underneath them, so when you shoot them with fire, it makes them rise up and down. Aha! Uh -huh. It's fire. cute. Kind of acts as like sh a shortcut to the the very beginning part of the graveyard there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wee!
You know, if I had this game as a child, as soon as I figured out, like, the, the lighting things puzzles and the dousing things puzzles, yeah, I'd just be shooting fire everywhere constantly. Yep, yep. I recall doing that. <laughs> This time, it's sure to work. <laughs> Their little feet can only take them so far so fast. <laughs> well, that's what just... the bathtub is for. Oh, yeah, right, right. Them. Zero! After them, quick! This might also be, in a sense, the most influential movie we've seen so far recreated. I mean, Pinocchio, maybe. Uh, Pinocchio has a huge, huge legacy, but like, every stop motion animation. Uh, uh, for a large audience sense, yeah, has a direct line to this film. Mm -hmm. I mean, Mad God, not so much. Like Phil Tippett comes from a different legacy, right? But uh, that also not exactly a, a wide release film. So <laughs> yeah. I, I feel confident in my previous statement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember too much about the like specifics about the production of of Nightmare Before Christmas, but didn't they like? Didn't they come up with a whole bunch of, like, new techniques for, for stop motion, too? For, like, the big screen or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's the... Uh, a lot of the same team went on to be, like, uh, foundational to Leica through, like, Coraline. Oh, right, right. I've never seen Coraline. Oh, uh, you should see Coraline. That's good. Coraline's great. Okay. Also, I think the only... I think I've only seen one Leica movie. You should see Paranorman. Hey, if it's Paranorman. not the one you've seen, you should see Paranorman. It, I th I, the one I saw was Kubo. Oh, love that movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, also some of the pumpkins in this area explode. Oh, uh, if they, wonderful. If, if they get hit with uh, fire magic, they will blow up. <laughs> True of many pumpkins, I find. Mm hmm. There you go. Uh. I wish you could actually do it yourself. You know? Yeah, yeah, but my, my hesitance is that you lose a lot of the magic by making it a path to the next stage in your video game. Yeah. And not just <laughs> like cutting away to the side and having it just be like part, part of the tourism of it, right? Right. Just, Recreate be, being part of the moment for its own sake and not oh, no, it's that's, that's your platform. You, <laughs> here you go That's how you get I don't like that. It's functional. I guess right 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 Now I'm just imagining that last scene as if like Jack and Sally are like oh and here, here's the way to my house <laughs> <laughs> you, you just have to make the hill do this. Yep. I screwed up that jump a couple times. It's hard to do. <laughs> and also, yes, all these permanent stat items you can get, which are kind of a, a limited resource in this game unless you go out of your way to craft them late game. Mm -hmm. You can totally waste them on the Disney party members that cannot leave their respective worlds. <laughs> but Jack really needs it. He's got problems. Mm -hmm. He really he needs that extra. He has to be defended, mostly from himself and his poor decisions. <laughs> oh. Well, that's a stat I don't think you can just level up easily. I don't know. <laughs> we need a wisdom stat. Come yeah, on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I 
I knew Oogie Boogie was behind this. This is also a treehouse that you can fall off the side of and have to climb back up again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bye guys. Like so, yeah. They're helping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I like the look of the little wing guys here in Halloween Town. Yeah, the too. little gargoyle dudes. They're good. Mm hmm. I mean, I, I really appreciate uh, how, I think we said it before, but all mm -hmm. these Disney worlds are built with the idea of what's the thing people would want to do? Like, yeah. if you were in this movie, what would you want to do? Fire! Obviously. If you're you're in Tarzan, you, you gotta surf down the, the big vines and tree trunks. You gotta mm -hmm. do it. So you have to do it constantly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fire! I've always wanted in a, a later Kingdom Hearts game, I've always wanted to, to revisit Wonderland, which they mm -hmm. have never done. Mm -hmm. Um because I think a lot of the stuff they do in that world could be done so much cooler now. Yeah. <laughs> With the, the and size changing and all that. Mm hmm And the, the, they used very little of the film, like, by mm -hmm. runtime at least, uh, with it, like... A few of the locations, but the only event is, yeah, the, the trial scene. Yeah. There's so many more events you could draw on. Mm-hmm. I like the the design of the the, the layout of the treehouse here too because it just has some fun platforming bits of like weird yeah, yeah, shortcuts yeah. that are maybe not intentional but they work. <laughs> <laughs> evil playroom. Oh no. <laughs> Can play be evil? Tune yes. into my seminar and find out. You gotta fight these little rascals. Oh no. They're not very good at fighting, as it turns out. <laughs> they just kind of run around and kind of hope they bop into you. <laughs> Is fighting like pranks? No. We're bad at it. Yeah. No. <laughs> I also like how sometimes they get hung up on the couch and they just jump up and down on the couch a lot. <laughs> They like to play. Yeah. I was just following orders. You're all in timeout. You're- Yes! You're in big timeout. <laughs> Don't you ever say that again. <laughs> is it- is it the same hiding place he always has? Hmm. Maybe? Maybe? All right. Um, uh huh. Okay. There's a lever and a, a hard to find green door. You say? Hmm. It's not in this room. <laughs> you have to go elsewhere for the green doors. Pretty hard to find then. All right. Yeah. Maybe she was onto something. Yeah. The green door is just kind of all the way at the bottom. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, good job, Jack. Thanks for covering the exit. Thank you. <laughs> I'll cover your rear, Sora. <laughs> I'm on your six. <laughs> 
<laughs> move, move, move! <laughs> I'm reloading! <laughs> Waha! Covering fire, Sora! <laughs> A grenade! <laughs> <laughs> so what the heck? There's fire in the hole. <laughs> uh, so Donald's got a new movie here called <laughs> Second Wind. Uh, it just makes him uh, auto-revive way faster after he gets knocked out. Uh, and we've also got Blitz for Sora, which just changes his ending uh, hit for his his ground combo. It mm -hmm. just it's a harder hit. You want it? Well then, come on over and get it. Ah! <laughs> Let's see if I can get their attention. Oh, hi, boys! This is it? Nobody disrespects me! So yeah, this fight, he does summon Heartless throughout the fight. Mm -hmm. um, and he throws dice at you, exploding dice. Sure. Uh, and you can't reach him normally, uh, but these different buttons oh, on the little roulette go. wheel here. Look at him go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, every once in a while, those big buttons on the roulette wheel will start shining. Uh, and you gotta touch the button that like lines up with him so it can raise you up and you can hit him. And poor Donald didn't get to come along. No. Nope. Oh, Jack, you are tall enough. You should get him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's just barely missing. <laughs> yeah, you get the buzzsaw, you get some of the other traps that, that you saw in the movie and all that. Uh, mm -hmm. The dice when he throws them, if you, you time it right, and Jack just did it on his own, you can deflect those back at him to, to, to hurt him. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. And even if you end up on the wrong section up here, you can still hit him if you get a long range move like Strike Raid. This is it. What is happening? Oh, you were, you were just riding the fence? Yep. Ah, the yep. cowboy mans. Yeah, the cowboy guys can shoot you. Oh, that's good. Mm hmm. There you go. There you go. That's the ticket. Come on. This, I mean, this is fun. This is yeah, uh, the most colorful this world has gotten. Oh yeah. <laughs> it doesn't quite have the like neon phosphorescence of the scene it's referencing, but uh, yeah. I'll take it. Freaking. You should totally be able to jump up onto these stairs if you end up getting left yeah, like right? up here, but it just doesn't reach. Oh. It just doesn't, and the ledge grab does ledge grab does not work on this segment, which sucks. <laughs> Strike raid does not reach. It doesn't. It can't go up high enough, like at that angle. Uh, but yeah, there's still ways to hurt him from down here too. If you hit him with lightning magic or gravity spells, um, the fire spells also can reach him. Fucking Jack just endlessly jumping. <laughs> he, he likes to feel special. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, but what if that was actually Danny Elfman making that noise? God, mm -hmm. I wish. Mm -hmm. I wish yes, Danny yes, Elfman. that noise right there. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So this trap right here, if he gets on that, it actually heals him. The, the gas oh. heals him. He loves to take a gas shower. Yeah. <laughs> and then slap little children. <laughs> he loves it. Mm-hmm. Fire! Fire! Oh, so close. Mm-hmm. Fire! <laughs>
yes. A lot of the the Disney villains that are part of like the actual like Legion of Doom or whatever in this game, mm -hmm. they for the most part always get two boss faces when you fight them. <laughs> Jafar did, Ursula did, now it'll be. I, I can't wait to see what happens when uh, Captain Hook gets really big. He <laughs> just step on his own boat and sink it. it it'd be really uh, sad. Yeah. Uh, so several episodes, episodes ago, I did mention that like in the original release of this game, there is a point mm -hmm. where it was possible to screw yourself out of 100% completion because something could basically change the environment in a way where you can no longer reach a trinity mark this is the boss fight that does that uh -huh, uh -huh. if you beat oogie in the original release here you can no longer get oh god one of the uh red trinity marks but for the oh, re-release no. for the red the re-release they they fix that they just move it to a different spot after the boss fight uh -huh, uh -huh. You've made your minions homeless, Oogie Boogie, and how do you feel about that? Do you even care? No! <laughs> no! Why should I care? <laughs> I should rewatch this movie. <laughs> yeah, there's a uh, there's fewer globs in it than you might expect from yeah. uh, from, from this bit. I don't, I, um, my, my main memory of this movie is from seeing it in theaters as a kid, and I gotta say, no memories of globs. No globs. Mostly just being scared of the little ducks at the start. <laughs> <laughs> when, when the scariest duck is one you brought with you. Yeah. Sally, why didn't I listen to you? Don't feel bad, Jack. We'll come up with another plan for Halloween. Next time, we'll do it together. to do it immediately after I'm going to my mother's oh that Jack you're incorrigible you can't be corraged yep. nope uh, so immediately after like finishing the world you can uh uh, find another like unique like hidden heartless that drops special uh, items for crafting stuff Ooh. Uh, and also I'm just there's a couple other areas that were not necessary necessary for the story them going back to because there's a bunch of treasure here yeah this is like where the uh, where the vampires live right yeah, yeah. including some puppies vampire, vampire puppies. puppies yeah yay <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, but yeah, back in the area where the treehouse was, mm -hmm. uh, going all the way down was, there, yeah. <laughs> was, yeah. Uh, sometimes a unique heartless spawns here. Oh. Uh, and he always spawns, or will spawn, after you clear out all other enemies in, in this little zone. Uh. Yep. There he is. There we go. Oh, you're a special little guy. He's fun. I like his design. Yeah, paint cans for feet. What happened to you? <laughs> yeah, you're some sort of slapstick heartless. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this guy's gimmick is that after you take out his health, all these different little orbs that were in his little jar oh, head his orbs. come out. And you have to hit those and deflect those back at him, because that's what does actual damage to him. Mm-hmm. And he also summons a bunch of the little gargoyle guys, too. Uh, this is a guy, depending on how successful you are at hitting the little the little bouncing orbs, you can kill him very quickly, or it could take like 10 minutes. Because <laughs> you can't lock onto the orbs, and if they hit you, they jump right back into him. Oh no, his yeah. orbs. Watch out, his orbs are out. I, I got hit by the green orb. Got hit by the orbs. Yep. So it took me a little bit. Oh, that was a bad luck with the orbs. <laughs> bad luck orbs. See ya. Fire. There we go. Whoop. And there you go. Uh, but yeah, he drops blazing stones and a couple other things, and that's, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the best way to get him is through that guy. Lots and lots of money. Mm-hmm. Oh, that looks da Don't go there. Mm. Don't do that. I, I don't know. Donald, you do it. You're already cut in the half in the midsection. <laughs> How do you think like, that happened? <laughs> well, I forgot to edit out just standing here looking at these treasure chests. Oh, well. More <gasps> puppies. puppies! They oh, were under the God. guillotine! Those puppies were in mortal peril. <laughs> and and your companions are overjoyed. <laughs> You're so happy to see the puppies get saved. Yay, no puppy death today. <laughs> yes, this is the... I think this was originally the Trinity Mark you could miss out on. Okay, that's the correct way to get that chest, but could you land and get the chest? Uh, no. There's, no? like, a weird oh. invisible wall that pushes you away from landing on top of it. Which... Oh, tricky, tricky. Yeah. 